Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics from AppleCritics.com and in this video I'll be showing you the top 30 best city of tweaks. So in this video I'll be showing the tweaks in no particular order. Uh, so the first tweak is a great tweak and the last tweak is also uh, a great tweak as well. Uh, so the first city of tweak in this video is Alkaline. Now Alkaline is a very simple city of tweak uh, but if you look at the top uh, where the battery is right there. You can see the battery uh, right there is a little different. Uh, so if you go into uh, settings and then you look into alkaline right here, you'll see that you can change the theme for the battery. So you have bolus, habisha, uh, and spots. So you can change it all around if you would like. Uh, but it's all pretty simple and that's the main purpose of alkaline. Next in this video is blur bar. Now Blur Bar is a very simple city of tweak uh, and the main uh, premise of Blur Bar uh, is to uh, change up your status bar. Uh, so you could change the amount of blur on it, uh, you can show the method, uh, so you can have an activation method for it. You can choose the blur amount, so minuscule, small, medium, large, massive, uh, blur size, you can change it, uh, your blur opacity, uh, your blur tint. Uh, so I can change the tint to anything, so I can change it to green for example, and then you can uh, change it however you like. And overall, all these will just allow you to change up your status bar. Zeppelin is the next you tweak in this video, and with Zeppelin, uh, it allows you to change your status bar carrier right there. So I currently have it uh, with the Beats by Dre uh, logo. Uh, and you can change it to whatever you want, uh, say for example, uh, Apple, so you see the Apple logo right there. I can change it to uh, Nike, and I can change it to, for example, uh, the infinity symbol if I really would like. Uh, and you can change it. It's a very simple city of tweak, and there's a lot of uh, Zeppelin logos that you can download from City as well. Uh, and then you can change your carrier. The next video to tweak in this video is better folders uh, and just allows you to have better folders overall. So you can put an app within a folder, uh, you can name it now, uh, you can put an app within an app again, uh, and you can rename uh, and then you can change it to whatever you want. Uh, and it just gives you better options for your folders. Then you'll have a folder within a folder within a folder. And it gives a little more customization to your device. Next up, you have Folder Customizer. Now with Folder Customizer, it allows you to change your uh, folders to whatever you want. So you can uh, enable it, then you can change the background color, uh, so you can make it red uh, for folders. You can change the label, uh, so you can uh, change the label colors, so we'll make the labels uh, green. Uh, and we can change the window uh, for it, so we can enable it if we would like. Uh, and we have the icons. So now your folders will be a different color with Folder Customizer. Moving on to the next new tweak is CC Hide. Now the CC Hide just enables you to hide certain features of your control center. Uh, so your settings, media controls, airdrop, airplay, uh, and your separators and everything. So if you look at your control center now, uh, it just shows you uh, some of it, uh, and it's not all the way up to the top here. just shows you all your features that you want. It's a very simple city to tweak, but yet it comes in handy. Moving on to the next video tweak in this video is Power Tap. With Power Tap, all you have to do is hold down the home button as if you're turning it off. And then you have slide to power off right here, slide to reboot, a slide to respring, slide for safe mode, and slide to power off again. Just gives you those features uh, and it just gives you a little bit more of usability. Next up, we have Blue Pill for Facebook. 
Now, Blue Pill for Facebook gives you the Facebook features that you want, uh, so you can easily activate it. Uh, and with Blue Pill, you can select an app to en enhance, so you can enhance your Facebook, uh, so you can have uh, sidebar navigation, top bar options, a new menu and favorites, uh, mes messenger, so you can have no messenger uh, in the Facebook, so you can basically delete the forced use of the messenger app, uh, and you can check and you can get your chat heads back and you can disable VoIP, send unlimited photos, full screen mode, employee settings, stealth mode, double read receipts uh, so you can prevent others from knowing that you've read their message, disable typing indicator so you can prevent your friends from knowing that you're typing, so you can show timestamps for every message uh, with timestamps plus. Uh, it just gives you a lot of features with Facebook and if you're an avid Facebook user, this tweak is perfect for you. Next is Ghost Pref. Uh, so with Ghost Pref, uh, it gives you uh, options for Snapchat. Uh, so it gives you uh, the ability just to enhance Snapchat. So you can have recipient alerts. Uh, you can send and you can enable don't send screenshot alerts, don't send typing alerts, uh, added features. So you can have all these ad added features. So you can add uh, photos from your camera roll, uh, break daily uh, replay limits, uh, save all text messages, no character limit, manual story advance, smarter filters, never log out, uh, never start snap timer. Uh, and you can view snaps until quit. So there's a lot of features that you can add and you have UI aspects that you can change, uh, filter overrides so you can mess around with the filters, uh, you can have snap buttons, uh, and then you can have disable features, so the features you don't like in Snapchat. Overall this is a really good Cydia tweak if you really love to use Snapchat. Next up we have Sleek Code. Uh, with Sleek Code, it gives you a really nice uh, and sleek passcode. Uh, so you can see it's transparent and it blends in with your wallpaper. So you can't really see it, but you can easily type in your numbers. So mine is just 000 and you can see it. It also does have a settings panel right here, so you can change your passcode settings around. Uh, also, uh, miscellaneous settings, and you can respring to enable it. It's a really nice to do tweak, and it just makes your passcode sleek and blend in with your wallpaper just like how you would want it to. Next up we have Barrel. Barrel is a very simple city tweak and it has been around since iOS 4 I believe. Just allows you to have animations as you move through pages. And once again you have a lot of features with Barrel. So you have normal, cube, page up, slide down, page squeeze, icon collection, and much more with Barrel. Next up you have Dock Shift, and Dock Shift allows you to change your dock style. So you can easily enable it. You have the style so you can make it less opaque. Uh, you have the landscape style, uh, so you can have it transparent if you would like, uh, hide page dots, uh, shift page dots down, uh, and mode. So dock shift is a really good studio tweak if you really want to change your dock and how it looks and make it blend in with whatever theme you're using and make it inobtrusive as possible. Next up you have Icon Renamer, and with Icon Renamer, what you can do is just hold down and make your icons jiggle. And once icons are jiggling, you can tap on an individual app, and once you do that, it'll give you the option to rename the app. Uh, so you can rename the iTunes store, uh, so I can uh, rename it if I would like, uh, and just say, uh, I can rename it to Music Store, for example. And it's simple, just like that, uh, and you, and it now says Music Store if we look closely, so I changed it. Uh, just like that. Next up we have Label Shift and with Label Shift it basically allows you to uh, simply shift your labels uh, and you can adjust the height of the labels. Once again it's kind of like Dock Shift uh, where you can just change up uh, your labels and uh, how your dock looks just to blend in with the theme and you can shift it if you would like. Uh, so if we take a look now, you can see your labels are shifted if you look closely. Overall, it's a very simple city tweak. Lastly, we have virtual home. And with virtual home, if we go into the settings of virtual home, you'll see it right here. Uh, and you can just simply, instead of clicking down on your home button, you can simply tap with your finger. And this is only for devices that have Touch ID, uh, and you can just use the home button as normal. But instead of clicking and having that hard sound, you just can simply tap, and it's gone just like so. Uh, so that's what you can do with virtual home, and it gives you that virtual home button to preserve the longevity of your home button. 
Next up is a tweak called Blord. With Blord, it changes your keyboard to black, uh, and not only does it do that, it just makes it more usable, and it has some more features, uh, and it's a very simple city to tweak. Byta Font 2 is a tweak that allows you to change your text. Uh, so if you look at my device, you can see that the text has been changed into a different font, uh, and it's not the normal font. Uh, and if we go into the Notes app, you can see that the font is completely different. Next up is Classic Badges, and with that city tweak, it just gives you the Classic Badges from iOS 6. So you can see on the App Store, it's a Classic one, uh, and that's basically all it does. Uh, it's a very simple city tweak overall. And the next city tweak is Classic Doc, and it just gives you the Classic Doc from iOS 6. So those city tweaks kind of go hand in hand together. Moving on to tweak number 25 in this video is Spring to Mize 3. Now Spring to Mize 3 allows you to customize every single uh, feature in your device basically uh, and it is a very prominent Studio tweak. Now you have animations, app slider, control center, dock, folders, icons, lock screen, notification center, pages, status bar, and much more. And once you go into it for example, you'll see how many features you have. So app slider, control center, you can change everything about it. Folders, you can change what you would like, uh, and icons, lock screen, so you can say, for example, uh, hide items of the lock screen, so camera grabber, control center grabber, a notification center grabber, time style, font, uh, notification center, you can tweak uh, it to what you like, so you can change the background color uh, right there, uh, you have pages right here as well, so overall, Spring to Mice 3 is hands down one of the best to do tweaks in this video, it has a lot of features and you can customize each and every minuscule detail to your device. Coming in at number 20 is Spring to Mize 3. Next up you have Flurry right here and with Flurry it allows you to change your notification center uh, and it allows you to change your control center as well uh, and it makes it transparent and, and makes it blend in and everything and that's the main uh, feature and use of Flurry. Now next up is an app called iCleaner. Now with iCleaner it does as it suggests it basically will allow you to clean your device. So if we just press clean right here It'll clean up everything on your device, and it won't delete anything, it's just cleaning up all the memory and all the unused files that don't need to be there. And then it'll respring your device. And then you'll realize your device is running faster uh, after a while. Next up is Mobius, and what Mobius allows you to do is scroll continuously. And with Mobius, it allows you to continuously scroll. So usually once you get to your last page, you can't scroll anymore, so you have to scroll all the way back. But with Mobius, what you can do is just keep on scrolling, and it will not stop. So that's what you can do with Mobius. Next up is No Slow Animations. Uh, so once you go into no slow animations, it basically allows you to not have any slow animations. Uh, so I can make the animations really slow, and you can see that's how long it took, and I can make it really fast. So you can see it'll be instantly. And there's no lag in between. And I can also make it in the middle, uh, and you can see that's what you can do with no slow animations. Next up is a tweet called Showcase. And with showcase, it shows the case while you're typing. So once it's in capitals, it shows everything as capitals. And once it's not in capitals, it shows everything as uh, in lowercase. Next up is status HUD 2. So when I have the volume low, you can see it. And when I change it, so it's just those circles. Uh, and you can see I'm changing the volume. So it's not as obtrusive as it would be if it's all the way in the middle here. It's just at the top where you can see it. And it's very simple. Now next up is Swipe Selection. So Swipe Selection is another city to tweak with the keyboard. Uh, so it just allows you to easily uh, go to an individual part of the text uh, and it's just Swipe Selection. It's always been here and it's always been a great city to tweak. 
Next up is Winterboard. It's already been a city tweak that we've known about since the beginning of jailbreaking, but once again, it's a nice city tweak, and it's to use all your themes with it, so you can change the theme and use the theme with Winterboard. It's very simple, uh, and it's just the universal city tweak, and it's one of the first ones that you install. Next up is Save Gram. Uh, so it's for Instagram, and it allows you to save pictures and videos on Instagram. So once you go into Instagram, so say for example on Instagram I find a picture that I like, all I have to do is go down to this part right here and it allows me to save the photo, I could just press save. You can see I saved that picture from Instagram on my camera roll. So it's just simple like that. Now the last thing you tweak in this video is called Effects Plus uh, and once you go into Settings and then we go into Effects Plus, what it allows you to do is that we can enable and once we enable it, we can select filters for the camera. Uh, so those are the selected and enabled filters. So here are all the enabled filters right here, and here are all the disabled filters. So if we go into it, so if we go into the filters right here, we can see some of the filters we have. So we only have nine filters. And if we go back into the filters, we can see all the filters we have now with the enable plus, and we can change it uh, to a new one, and we can take a picture. So it's very simple with Effects Plus, uh, and that's basically what it allows you to do. So overall, those are the top 30 Cydia tweaks. I hope you found some of the Cydia tweaks that you didn't have before, uh, and you found this useful. So go ahead and smash that like button down below so know you watch. Also check out AppleCritics.com for these Apple News reviews and more. Like my Facebook fan page at Facebook.com slash AppleCritics. I am always active on Facebook. And also be sure to iMessage me at AppleCriticsYT at me.com. Be sure to answer your iMessage. Also, please be sure to check out uh, my last video. And thanks for watching.